Workshop to Building a Strong Financial Foundation and Proper Protection. Hello everyone, this is Ro Anselis Capistrano of One Million Club. Welcome to our Financial Foundation Educational Program. First, let's discuss how to build a solid financial foundation. Madalas, inuuna natin yung bubong or investment. Invest agad tayo like karamihan kumukuha ng house and lot without analyzing our cash flow. In building your financial house, dapat magsimula ka sa baba. Increase your cash flow. Please watch my separate video about cash flow. At dahil puhunan natin sa pagtatrabaho ang health natin, dapat we have health care. Dahil mas magastos kung wala kang card. At may tinatawag din na long-term health care. Ito yung dapat pala nating paghandaan kasi ang sakit naman darating yan pagtanda na natin. Di naman tayo i-cover ng company natin pag matanda na tayo. Next is protection or life insurance. Importante na as a breadwinner, you get insurance to protect your family from financial loss. Dapat wala ding utang, lalo na kung sa credit card. Dapat din may emergency fund ka para in case of emergency like mawalan ka ng trabaho, may fund ka. At syempre dapat simulan mong mag-invest as soon as you start working para you can make your money work for you. Now let's discuss the X curve concept. Paano ba magplano? Kaya X kasi dalawang line lang tatandaan mo. Blue line represents your money line. Dapat habang tumatanda ka na dadagdagan savings mo. Red line represents your responsibility. Ang target natin is as you get older, nababawasan responsibility mo. Pag young ka, especially nag-start ka pa lang ng sarili mong pamilya, mataas responsibility mo. Maliit pa anak mo, kaya sa stage na to, less secure ka. So your strategy is to get protection or insurance dahil ang risk sa stage na to is what if you die too soon? Who will take care of your family kung maliit pa ipon mo at kailangan pang mag-aral ng mga anak mo? On the other side, as you get older, dapat more secure ka na. Kung nag-iipon ka, makakapag-retire ka na from work. Ang risk sa stage na to is, what if you live too long? Who will take care of you? Ang hirap naman umasa sa mga anak, kaya dapat by the time na magre-retire ka na, you have big savings or investment. Kahit wala ka ng trabaho, money is working for you. Now, let's go to protection or insurance. Pagdating sa insurance, di lang pala life and disability ang involved. Dapat i-consider din natin ang health. Bakit nga ba need natin ang long-term health care? Think about this. Medical cost doubles every 5 to 7 years. Hospitals cannot let you in without deposit and out without payment. Majority of Filipinos don't save money for future health care needs. You cannot bring with you the health care benefits provided by your company when you retire or resign. No traditional health care company covers ages 61 and up. The cost of health care product at old age when you retire is very expensive. Health care companies cannot cover your pre-existing illnesses. Most people rely on their children or sell properties or borrow money for their medical needs during retirement. Majority of personal bankruptcy is due to a medical crisis. Who will provide your health care during retirement years? To know more about long-term health care, please watch my video about Kaiser. Now let's go to life insurance. Life insurance isn't a fun topic, but it's a critical part of your financial strategy. Life insurance doesn't insure your life. It ensures your family's ability to continue on without being financially devastated. Again, insurance is protecting your family from financial loss. Are you insurable? Most life insurance requires medical exams, blood tests, and or health records before a policy is issued. If you have health problems, life insurance companies may deny your application or they may charge a higher rate. Thus, if you have the need, buy life insurance as soon as you can while you're healthy and insurable. 
First, paano mo malalaman how much protection do you need? Formula is annual income times 10. For example, ang monthly salary mo is 20,000. So, 240,000 ang annual income mo. Times 10, you need 2.4 million life insurance coverage. Bakit 2.4 million? Kasi if something happens to you, if you die too soon, your family will receive 2.4 million. And kung invest nila yan, sabihin na lang nating earning 10% per year, so 240,000 ang interest divided by 12 months, so may 20,000 per month ang family mo. Insurance is also called income replacement kasi yung nawalang income sa pamilya, kinikita pa rin ang family kahit nawala na ang breadwinner. Para mas detalyado, use DIME method to compute how much income coverage do you need. Your insurance coverage should be equal to your responsibility. And it should be separate from the insurance coverage of your spouse. Aside from income replacement computation, sama mo din yung balance ng debt and mortgage mo. At syempre, yung para sa education ng mga anak nyo. So in this example, you need 4 million life insurance coverage and your spouse needs to be covered for 3.5 million. Importante na maintindihan natin to dahil madalas ang tao nasa 100,000 to 500,000 lang ang life insurance coverage. Three laws of insurance. Law number one, there is no free insurance. Law number two, cost of insurance always goes up. Cost of insurance is based on mortality rate table. For example, kung magpapa-insured ka, 28 years old ka, ang premium mo is 3,100 lang for one year, for 1 million coverage. Pero kung 47 years old ka na, doble na cost ng premium. 6,550 na premium mo for one year, 1 million coverage. Law number 3, all insurance is term insurance. Make sure you understand how money works. Because the cost of insurance is always charged to you. The difference is how you pay for it. Para mas maintindihan mo, dalawang klase lang ang insurance. Pure insurance or term plan, ito yung recommended natin term insurance. And second is insurance with savings. Permanent plans. For exactly the same amount of life insurance protection, you can pay a very low premium for a term insurance plan. Compared to the very high premium you would have to pay for an insurance with savings or whole life insurance or endowment plan. Difference in premium can then be invested in a mutual fund. Mutual fund grows much faster at a much higher rate of interest than the usual cash value of a whole life insurance or endowment plan. Let's compare term and whole life insurance. Sa term, cash is in your hands. Sa whole life, cash is in the hands of insurance company. Second, sa term, you already have savings on the first year, which you can withdraw in case of emergency. Sa whole life, you cannot touch your savings without affecting the protection side. You will lose coverage if you touch the cash value or savings before maturity. Sa term, no loan charge. Sa whole life, you pay interest charges for borrowing your own personal money. Sa term, low cost, underpay in early years, lowest premium with higher coverage and benefits, and earlier maturity. Sa whole life, high cost of premium, overpay in early years to catch up the underpayment in the coming years. And sa term, early maturity, cash value or savings may reach your financial goal earlier. While sa whole life, matures at age 99, this is the only time the client gets the cash value or savings. Kaya we recommend term insurance. Insurance is a good investment. Insurance is nothing but leverage money. For a small amount of money, you rent big money. Sabi nga, it's making fortune out of misfortune. To summarize what we have discussed in this video on building a strong financial foundation and proper protection, we learn about building a solid financial foundation, we understand the personal financial strategy in X-curve concept, why you need a long-term health care, the importance of life insurance, 
and the difference between term and whole life insurance. Financial independence is not a dream. It's a decision. Again, I'm Roan Salis Capistrano. Kung nakatulong sa'yo ang video na to, share this video. And to know more about savings, investment, or kung gusto mong maging financial educator kagaya ko, visit bit.ly slash 1 million club or email me at roan.capistrano at gmail.com.